Okay, I'm going to show you guys how to set up your USB host shield for Lunar. If this website looks confusing, that's because it kind of is, but it'll make sense in a little bit. To kind of explain how this works is each mouse sends input to your computer differently. So a Logitech mouse might send data that looks like this, while a HyperX mouse sends data that looks like this. And the host shield has no idea what any of that means. So this website takes in all the data, right? You input the mouse report for each input, like left click, right click, scroll, etc., And it will take that and generate a parser that will work for your specific mouse. Hopefully that made sense. Now we can actually start setting things up. So first thing you want to do is download the reportlog.py and the reportlog.ino. All right, now go to your downloads folder and open the reportlog.ino. Uh, click OK. Make sure to select your Arduino. Then you can click the upload button. All right, now that that's done, you can close this, but make sure you take note of this. So COM7 for mine. Then you'll open the reportlog.py in notepad. And you wanna make sure your port matches. So mine was COM7, so that's good. And then you'll just save and close that. Go to the folder that you have the reportlog.py file in. Click in the file path, type CMD, press enter. It will open a command prompt in that folder. Then you'll type pi report underscore log dot pi. Enter. So I'm going to unplug my main mouse. This is the mouse you're going to be using with Lunar. You'll plug it into the host shield. And then whenever you move your mouse, you should see a bunch of data. If you don't, then unfortunately that mouse will not work. Um, it probably has like a driver that's handling it. Um, but uh, yeah, hopefully that's not the case. So you won't be able to move your mouse, which is kind of annoying. Uh, if you don't have a second mouse, we'll have to go through all the buttons and then you'll have to take note of those unplug the mouse from the host shield, plug it in the PC. But if you have a second mouse, which I do, go ahead and plug that in. Okay, so, is it gonna, okay. So now, I'm gonna move this over here, open this, okay. So we have our data here from the mouse, and then we have the website for the sketch. And it says um, neutral right here. So what that means is basically just copy one of the lines, paste it, and then change everything to zero. One thing to note though is if you move your mouse, you click buttons, and there's a consistent value in the first byte here, like this area, then that is the report ID and you do not want to change that to a zero here. Next thing is left click. So I'm going to left click and make sure you're not moving anything else or clicking anything else when you do this. So just left click and you'll see that one thing changed. The rest are zeros. Uh, when you first left click, it will change value. And then whenever you release, it will do another thing. And that's just the release. So you want to do the first one that shows up. Copy paste, same for right click. Uh, middle mouse button press. It was this one. Uh, back button. So if you have side buttons, that's what these are. Uh, back button is the one that's closest to you. It's the one on the back. So that is a eight for me. And then the other side button and then scroll up, scroll down 
and then these are a little bit tricky because you have to make sure you're moving it perfectly in one direction so you can see this is the most consistent these two bytes here so that's that if I was moving at diagonal see how they're like changing a lot but if I move it perfectly to the left it stays like that okay now same for the right and those change to a one and then move up and move down okay now once you have all these filled out you can click generate sketch and it will generate the usb host shield sketch so i'm going to copy everything in here and then i'm going to go into the lunar folder lib arduino files and then hid mouse edit this in notepad or you can open it in the ide if you want paste so replace everything with the new sketch save it and close and then you can open lunar and spoof your arduino um, before you spoof though make sure your main mouse is plugged into your pc and not the host shield otherwise it won't find it okay now you can spoof and i have a video on how to do this if you don't already know Okay, once the spoof is complete, you can plug your main mouse into your host shield and see if it works. And mine does. So you want to make sure that nothing is inverted. So like your X and Y movement works good. Left click, right click, scroll, everything like that. Uh, backward, forward, and mine does. So that's cool. This is currently in beta, so there may be issues with it. Um, but if there are, just let me know and I will try to fix them. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching.